Let's now upload some sample data to Superbase so that we have some more real data to actually work with. So here in the data folder, we have three JavaScript files, which contains data about booking, cabins, and guests. And then we have this uploader component. So this here does a bunch of stuff. So it has all these different functions to delete and create all of these new resources. But what this does is not really important. What matters is that we can now import this component and then that will give us two buttons. One will be to upload all sample data, which will first delete all of them and then create new ones. And then we will get a button to only upload the bookings. All right, and so again, that's this. Uh, yeah, this uploader component right here. And so we will now include this in our sidebar. So like down here, so that during development, we can keep it there and re-upload our sample data whenever we need it. So here in our sidebar, let's include it down here after the navigation. So up loader and there we go. And so let's actually now click on upload all. And there we get some errors here. And the reason for that is that we didn't set the row level security policies on the bookings table yet. So let's go do that here in authentication and then policies. And indeed we have this on the cabins and even the settings, but not on the guests and the bookings. And so let's now again do all of that. So we'll always start with this template and select we already have. So next we use insert. So then we need to write true and save. And well, it tells me this already exists, but it actually doesn't. So maybe, well, let's try this again. Ah, yeah, I didn't change the name of the policy. So that was the problem. At least I hope so. And there we go. Now let's add the other ones. And again, we will later then do this only for authenticated users. Okay. And finally to delete as well. And now the same thing on the guests. So insert, as always, just write true in there. And now only two more to go. And yeah, now we're only missing the delete one. Okay. Now let's come back here. Let's reload and let's upload all again. And so that will then delete everything. Then here we get some locks for some reason. And now when I reload this, then beautiful. So we have all of these different bookings here, all in this one table. So basically each cabin has three bookings. And these dates here, they also should be updated to your own dates. So basically these dates here are generated dynamically. And here we can also see the three statuses that a booking can be in. So you see that some of these are checked out. 
which makes sense because the guest arrived five days ago but only stayed for three nights. And so by now uh, they are already gone. Then this one here is checked in because they arrived six days ago and have a five night stay which means that they are checking out today which is actually May 15th right now. Okay, so you can analyze this data if you want. Then here we also have all the eight cabins. Now the images, you need to actually upload them separately. So that doesn't happen automatically, but I believe that we apparently already did that. So otherwise we would get some errors there. And so yeah, indeed there are here. But if you didn't upload them manually yet, then you need to do that. So our uploader component doesn't do that. But anyway, with this we are now ready to also implement the filter and sort by right here in this bookings table. And so let's now move on and do that. <laughs> 